Question three, we have another function here. This time it's a cosine function. We still call that a sine function though. It's a shifted sinusoidal function. So we're still going through everything that we've been doing. I'm gonna write in our general form. So it's y equals a cosine of bx minus c plus d. So a is how we find the amplitude. We take, oops, didn't wanna do that. A is how we find the amplitude. We take the absolute value of A. So the absolute value of negative one third makes it positive. So our amplitude is positive one third. And then we'll just go through the rest of the letters. So B is what's next to X, it's two pi. C is four, oops. So remember the negative is part of the function. We're just taking the number. And then D, we do take the sign with it. It is negative three. So that's the midline. The midline is equal to Y equals D. So it's Y equals negative three. The period is equal to two pi over the absolute value of b. So 2 pi over the absolute value of 2 pi. The absolute value is 2 pi, just 2 pi. So 2 pi divided by 2 pi is just 1. And then our phase shift is c over b. So 4 over 2 pi. So let's put all that in. So y equals negative three, the period was one, and then the phase shift was four divided by two pi. And we could have reduced that to two over pi, I should have, but I, I knew it would take it unreduced, so I just left it like that. So you've got options there, it'll still mark it right even if you don't reduce.